The light angle here is not good, but there is a huge snake there. That is a very, very large eastern brown snake. Have a look at that. Wow. What a beauty. That's one snake that you won't see me getting too close to. There's a lot of brown snakes in Australia, but there's only one eastern brown snake. There's legless lizards that are all brown. There's yellow-faced whip snakes that are brown. There's a whole heap of brown snakes that are brown. But this is the brown snake. This is the eastern brown snake. And it's one to stay back from. Now, if I tell you he's dangerous, the snake lovers are going to hate me. If I tell you he's not dangerous, the snake haters are going to hate me. So I'm just going to tell you straight from my heart. He's dangerous, folks. He's very dangerous. The brown snake, or the eastern brown snake, which is this fella, is responsible for 60% of Australian snake deaths. In a recent video, or a previous video I made, I said to people to stay away from them. And I stick with that. Just stay away from them. That's the best thing you can do. See, so right now, he looks like he's pretty much unperturbed. But I can tell you right now, he is watching me very, very anxiously. If I get too close, he's probably going to lunge. He's probably not going to strike me, but he's going to lunge in my direction and show me that he's pretty pissed off. He's going to try and scare me. And it's going to work. He's going to scare me. <laughs> so at the moment, he looks like I haven't... He, he's probably hoping that I haven't noticed him and I'll just walk on and do nothing. But in reality, I have noticed him. He is absolutely beautiful and huge. He's an enormous brown snake. A lot of people will see an eastern brown snake like this and then say, oh, King Brown. But that's not right either. A King Brown is actually a totally different sort of snake. King Brown, sometimes called a mulga snake, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're actually a black snake, part of the black snake family. Have a look at that. What a ripper. You'll notice I'm not getting as close to this fellow as what I do when I'm filming black snakes. It's because the old brown's a lot more skittish. Look, I'm almost touching him with my shadow. Hello, buddy. <laughs> what a ripper. I think the eastern brown snake is the second most deadliest snake in the world after the fierce snake, which is the inland taipan. It's Australia's deadliest snake, the eastern brown, because it's killed 60% of all recorded snake fatalities. The other 40% is made up from tiger snakes, death adders, anything else. The brown snake, 60%. But there's a reason for that. He's a bit skittish. And he's also found in areas where people go. He's often found in, uh, rural, in uh, industrial areas. There he goes, look. Don't you dare go into my car. Look at him go. What a ripper. Oh, he is glorious. That has made my day, folks. One of the biggest eastern brown snakes that I've ever seen. Wow, what an absolute pearler. I used to hate snakes. I hated them with a passion. Then my wife decided she wanted to get a pet python. She wanted a Centralian carpet python. I said no, because it's a snake and I was very anti-snake. But we got it anyway. I fell in love with it. I learned a lot about snakes and now I just absolutely love them. Even though that snake there had the potential to kill me probably a hundred times over, he didn't want to. What did he do? He got out of my way. As quick as, as soon as he got a chance to, to make a break, off he went. And that's what they usually do. And they won't bite you unless you hassle them. A lot of people bitten by snakes are gardeners that don't even notice the snakes in the garden with them. Or people trying to kill snakes. People that see snakes like I just did, normally you haven't got a thing to worry about. Just stay away from them.